Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is Randy's training. Today, we're going to talk about how can we connect our solar panels in series and parallel, and also why and how can we do it. So talking about series or parallel, actually, we're doing the same action, which means connect. This is the MC4 male connector. It stands for the positive of the solar panel. This is the MC4 male connector. It stands for the negative of the solar panel. Now, let me demonstrate how can we connect the two solar panels in series. But please remember, no matter you're going to connect your solar panels in series or parallel or both. Please make sure every piece of the solar panel or the unit are in the same SKU, to be simple, the same model from the same brand. Or you won't get the highest efficiency of your solar array if you're mixing solar panels in the same array. And also, there will be some risks to damage your solar panels. Right, let's come back to the topic. Connect these two exactly same solar panel in series. Positive from one panel, negative from another panel insert it in and click and try to check it okay they're fixed that's it all right so now these two solar panels are serious and this one spare positive connector is the positive and this male connector is the negative these are the specifications of one piece of 100 watt solar panel but since now we have connected them in series so how will they change first of all maximum power at stc of course two solar panels which means now they are 200 watts Then voltages, open circuit voltage and optimum operating voltage. Since they are serious, which means they will be doubled in this case. Of course, if you connect three of them in series, they will be tripled. So now the open circuit voltage will be 48.6 volt and the same to the optimum operating voltage it is 20.4 for each now two 40.8 volt and what about the current? Short circuit current and optimum operating current. Since it is connected in series, so it doesn't change the current, which means these two currents remain. To draw a conclusion, maximum power of your new solar array, it will be changed based on the number of your solar panels. And the voltage will be changed based on the so number of your solar panels. The current, they will never change. Now, let's have a look at the parallel connection of our solar panels. In this case, I'm going to parallel these two solar panels, which means I will need the Y-shape connector. For parallel connection, that means we're going to connect the positive of two different solar panels together here you can see two positive become one positive as for the negatives we do the same and also you will need Y connector
That's one. And another one. Okay, so two negatives becomes one negative. And one positive, one negative. This is the positive of this solar array. This is the negative of this solar array. And if you are having more than two pieces of solar panels, you will need a bigger connector which can combine three positive into one positive and also three negative into one negative. And how will the parallel connection affect the data or specification of our solar array? In this case, two pieces connected into a parallel array. Of course, two pieces. Wattage, they are doubled. And in parallel connection, voltages remains, which means open circuit voltage, still 24.3 volt. And optimum operating voltage, still 20.4 volt. As for the current, it changes. Two pieces, which means they will be doubled. The short circuit current of this solar array will become 10.42 amp. And also, optimum operating current doubled, which means 9.82 amp. That's it. Now, this is the specification of this new solar array with two pieces of solar panels connected in parallel.